Hello. My name is Ken Unger, and I want to welcome you to Deck Diagnosis by Charge. I'm the president of Charge and a sponsorship coach. Wanted to welcome you to this episode where we have our special guest, uh, George Biastri Jr., who comes to us from Clay County, Florida, where he is responsible for sponsorship for the county. And in this episode of Deck Diagnosis, we're going to review Georgia's sponsorship deck, which features the great assets of Clay County, Florida. And we're going to talk about those elements that make for a great sponsorship deck and how George can put the best foot forward and demonstrate to sponsors what a great value sponsorship in Clay County, Florida is. George, welcome to Deck Diagnosis. Thank you very much, Ken. Great to be here. I uh, wanted to start by uh, introducing you and the work that you do for Clay County. So uh, please share with all of it, with everyone who's joining us on LinkedIn Live a little about yourself and the work that you do. Sure. Thank you very much. Well, I'm Sponsorship uh, Development Coordinator for Clay County, Florida. Uh, Clay County, Florida is a bedroom community of Jacksonville, Florida. We're located uh, just southwest of downtown Jacksonville, a uh, population of about 231,000 people. Uh, anybody that's familiar with this uh, area of the country is probably familiar with St. Augustine. We are due west of St. Augustine on the other side of the river. So um, we're uh, kind of uniquely positioned. Um, I'm uniquely positioned, I think, in county government as being a government employee out selling uh, sponsorships uh, for the county. My goal is to is to ultimately keep tax uh, keep the tax expenditures for our citizens down by develop by backfilling with sponsorships on some of the assets that we are we are developing and have developed. Um, our biggest asset right now that is for sale is a 250-acre multi-purpose sports complex. I believe I'm looking for a financial or healthcare a sponsor, naming sponsor for that. And then I've got some opportunities for uh, naming rights on um, on some fields. We've got everything from brick campaigns that I'm working on for our animal services to uh, donation and sponsorship development for all the way up to that uh, that multi-purpose sports complex. We've got a an outdoor adventure park, i.e., a gun range that's that's available. We've got a lot of opportunities. I think we'll see some of the some of the opportunities that uh, I have put in a, in the deck. Um, to be fair, this deck was put together very quickly, um, and I'm happy to have this opportunity for uh, you and and your staff to to pick it apart and critique my work, and hopefully, I can make a better. Uh, impression the next time I roll this thing out in front of a rotary or a chamber meeting. It, it's already a great deck. We're just going to work on making it even better. So thank you. Uh, um, so how new is this approach uh, to county sponsorship within Clay County? Well, it's brand new. Well, brand new for Clay County. I say brand new. I've been in my role for a little, almost a year and a half now. Um, really just starting to get my feet wet. We, it took a while to, value our assets, figure out what, uh, you know, what kind of an estimated value might be on them. Uh, took a while to uh, just mature into this role. It's a, it's a brand new role for me. It's a brand new role for Clay County. And as I understand it, it's a brand new uh, venture for counties in general to be taking on this sort of thing. Usually they will hire a private enterprise to come in and, and do this and sit in this position to sell the sponsorships for a county asset. Um, so it's, it's pretty new. What I've, we've, we've looked around the country. Uh, I don't, I haven't found anybody that's doing it exactly the way I'm doing it. I come from a background of marketing, business development, sales, um, you know, thirty some years of doing that. So I come, I come at it with a, a kind of a unique skill set as a county employee. So I'm out there selling these assets. That's awesome. So um, as you look across all the assets that you have as part of um, your county portfolio, you mentioned for the multi-purpose sports facility, a healthcare or a financial services sponsor. What are some of the ideal sponsors that? that you, when you think about some of the assets that you have, whether they're in the parks department or, um, you know, you mentioned animal services or elsewhere, 
um, who are some of the ideal sponsors that you that you have in your in your mind for these specific specific brands? Uh, not necessarily specific brands, but um, categories like healthcare, like financial services. What other um, category of sponsors do you think would be great? Sure. If we're if we about you know, in in for the parks and rec department, those two because they uh, healthy healthy living sponsors. I'm thinking um, rehabilitation centers, hospital chains, hospital groups, medical groups for anything in the outdoor space. Um, potentially sports uh, brands, uh, retail sports brands may be interested in doing some sponsorship partnerships with us. If we bounce over to our animal services department, um, animal services, I'm thinking the uh, the major chains, uh, the Petco's, the, uh, those sort of brands out there. We do some grant. I, I live in the grants department here in Clay County, and we have sought some, uh, and we've received some funding through grant writing uh, to some of those enterprises, uh, the pet food companies, uh, the retail, the pet, uh, the pet industry retailers. Um, we're also developing a sponsorship with a, uh, uh veterinary medical, uh, university. Um, that is, that is in its infancy right now. We're working on, a uh, their, this uh, entity is going to be opening a, a satellite office here in Clay County, and we are going to be partnering with them to offer some, uh, opportunities for their students uh, to do, I guess, residency. I'm not sure if that's what it's called in, in the in the veterinary space, but do residency at, at our facilities. And we're building a new animal services center. So I can see any of those um, major brands that are in the pet space to for sponsorship opportunities in that. You know, and we have libraries, we've got administrative buildings, we've got a lot of different assets. And really the the world is my oyster, so to speak, because <laughs> I can, I mean, if, if somebody wants to put their name on it, I will sell it. So, um, <laughs> we, you know, and, and we're creating it on the fly. So it's, you know, the opportunities just as they come, we, we, we digest them and, and figure out how to, how to make it happen. I love that. You got to tell me how that the world is my oyster thing works. Cause, uh, I yeah. wanna... <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm not in a box. I mean, that's the beautiful <laughs> thing is it's 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 a brand new space and we're creating it on the fly. So um, if somebody comes to us with an opportunity, we will definitely we'll definitely consider it. Perfect. Well, let's blast into uh, into your deck um, and talk about all those opportunities that would be attractive in working with Clay County, Florida. Can you see the, your beautiful deck? I can. Awesome. Well, let's let's go through it. I guess um, my first question is: um, they say a picture or a photo is worth a thousand words, and I'm a big proponent of um, something visually, not only visually appealing, in the cover slide of a sponsorship deck, but something that works really hard in conveying the message that you want to convey. So on the cover slide for this, and when we're talking, I understand, you know, you're a, um, a government entity. You're talking about both sponsorship and donations. So that's fine that it works double duty for those two different um, forms of support. But talk to me about this visual. You know, we have on the right side, an idyllic picture of a Florida sunset, um, you know, dockside couldn't be more beautiful. Uh, what was your motivation in using that visual? Um, I would say that my motivation was uh, not selling a sponsorship. I'm <laughs> I'm taking your critique uh, at heart right now. It's uh, it's just a you know we're known for nature and uh, you know we got a lot of natural spaces here in the in the county and that was just a it was a beautiful picture and it actually came out of a. Uh, a template that uh, our marketing department used. So it was, I yeah. did not make a decision on that picture. And so you're pointing out the fact that I didn't make a decision. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. I, I really um, like for each page to be super purposeful to back up. So um, we always kind of think, what is the value proposition of 
a relationship with Clay County for a sponsorship relationship with Clay County, Florida. So we need to think through kind of what that is. And then right at the top, make that cover photo, that cover visual um, work towards that value proposition. So I guess one question I would have is when you go to um, a sponsor prospect cold and you're introducing um, the value of working with Clay County on a sponsorship opportunity, are there certain things that you identify as as central to that value proposition? It's that question another way. So um, Clay County is, is a great partner to be involved in a sponsorship relationship. Why? Well, uh, partly because we are, um, we can leverage a brand. Well, we can we can spread a brand. Um, a brand that would partner with us is going to get additional uh, impressions in all of our social media platforms. Uh, there, I, I look at the county as a partnership with. Clay County from a sponsor's perspective as being a, um, a feel good sponsorship. Um, there's, there's some, there's community engagement value there. Um, and there's, there's an enhanced, there's a, there, we can enhance their brand a, as they look, uh, like a partner with their, with their County government, with the, with, you know, doing good in the, in, in the space of Clay County. So you just offered some great ideas about your value proposition, all of which are correct, right? The, there is no right or wrong value proposition. It's what you feel is the most valuable aspect about a relationship. So let's take some of the things that you just said, break it down and try to translate it to what a visual would look like on this page. So the first thing that you said is feel good. You want to feel good um, about um, – a sponsorship. So perhaps it is um, it is a photo of patrons of a park using the actual park um, and feeling good. Um, they are happy. They express joy. They are you're they're shown in um, recreational leisure activities that are really exciting or interesting. Um, again, you're conveying that um, this brand, if they did business with you. Um, they would be contributing towards a feel good. And that's certainly like with parks and recreation, that's easy because that's the purpose of parks and recreation. So it could be a visual of that. Um, you said there are, are myriad opportunities, um, myriad opportunities for um, a sponsor to work with the county. So this visual could be a montage of the county social media feed, the county's website. Um, the county's um, physical facilities, um, the seat of county government. So it could be, um, you know, a quad box or other things showing different visuals um, to indicate like, wow, right, right on the, on the um, uh, cover page, lots of opportunities to, to like work with the county um, and then doing good. So you had mentioned that George, and I think that that's a great, um, part of the value proposition. So now all of a sudden, um, this visual is now a charitable project, something that goes on in the county that um, either could be sponsored or it doesn't even really have to be sponsored. Maybe um, it's a Boys and Girls Club event that takes place um, somewhere on county uh, in a county facility or things of that nature. Um, again, could it be as attractive as this picture? Sure. But it's working, but all of a sudden now it's working for you. And right off the bat, you're giving a potential sponsor cues as to how they can work with you, but more importantly, that they want to work with you. Um, right. So I, I love this. I love this page as a way to set the tone uh, because, you know, we, we talk about the fact that sponsors spend a grand total of eight seconds. So that comes from, um, surveys that have been done um, on on sales in general and sponsorship sales in particular that when someone gets an email, when someone gets a sponsorship deck, they'll spend about eight seconds determining relevance. That's not much time. 
Right. Um, so, and you know that from, you have a background in marketing and advertising and you know that. Um, so that's, that's why we want to really nail it on, on this slide. So um, that's great. Let's, let's move on. And did you have any thoughts before we moved on? No, uh, other than I can definitely do a better job. <laughs> uh, you're doing great. It's not about doing a better job. You're doing great. We just, we're going to, we're going to up, we're going to upscale, right? right. We're gonna take it to the next level. So tell me more about um, you in, in this presentation that you 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 did recently. Um, you wanted to differentiate between sponsorship and donation. You have a definitions page here. What kind of work did you want this page to do? Well, I'm again. I'm explaining something uh, that may be foreign to a large percentage of the audience. This was like, and I I think I mentioned this was put together for. Uh, Rotary Club presentations and Chamber of Commerce kind of presentations. So I'm I'm expecting that this page is going to uh, define. It allows me to open up the the floor for conversation to explain what this is to an audience that I'm making. Um, I think a fairly rational, uh, educated guess is is doesn't know what this is. I mean, they know what a, people know what a donation is, but my big tickets are sponsorships. And I really need to, I believe I need to explain what a sponsorship is to the general audience that I'm speaking to. Yeah, I think that that totally makes sense. Um, the one thing I would know, um, and I always, I always try to um, hammer this home when, in, when talking to a similar group, whether it's rotary we're just describing, um, and this this occurs a lot in the government and nonprofit context. Is the the shorthand for sponsorship and a donation is um, donation is is giving something without the expectation of recognition, mm -hmm. um, and sponsorship is giving something with the recognition of lots of recognition. Um, so that's so so I I find that as a really easy shorthand way um, to describe. To describe what's going on, I think that also um, you doing that is really good, um, and especially you're dealing probably with a lot of businesses that have not engaged and entities that have not engaged in sponsorship before, um, and doing a little um, explanation about what sponsorship is um, is I think is is valuable. Um, I particular I particularly like the examples on the sponsorship side of. Um, the Everbank Stadium and Niagara Bottling sponsoring Touch a Truck, um, which, by the way, I just found the Touch a Truck uh, photos of my sons when they were little, which was a long time ago. Uh, but those those photos are still around. So events like that um, have great impact on families. So keep doing that. Yeah. Thank um, you. The um, so I think this is good. I would I I would. I would tighten it up, especially that with that definition of recognition, because I think in people's minds, it really helps differentiate the two. Like if I donate, I'm just doing good for good sake. Mm -hmm. What I think what I in terms of the structure of the deck, what I really wanted to see in this page, um, even before um, a, a definition of like what, what I'm here to talk to you about is who who am I? Um, I am Clay County, Florida. Um, and it's, we call it the about us page. Um, if we look at kind of a strict kind of sponsorship template, but the, the reason, um, the about us page needs to come first is it defines who you are and what you stand for. And without that, so this was good for a presentation that you were doing, um, again, to Rotary. Was that the organization that you were yeah. this, this initial one was a, a one-off, uh, Rotary meeting. Um, and it's obviously up for improvement for the next one. I've got another Rotary presentation coming up in uh, in August, and then I will tee up many of those. It's going to be a you know I'll probably be presenting to fifteen different Rotary groups and several different chamber meetings over the next uh, six to twelve months. That that's great, and and I think that um, this slide could work. But what I really recommend on the first slide is um, who you represent. And its brand, and it gives you a chance to really nail your value proposition. 
Because otherwise, um, if this were going like like you had a sponsor prospect and you were sending this deck to that prospect, um, you have to give context of who you are and what you stand for. Otherwise, it's like, what am I reading? Why am I reading this? Right. And so I I would have liked to see to seen on this page Clay County. Um, and then the what we talked before, the value proposition. Um you could talk a little about where it is. And and this is true, even if like the rotary meeting is in Clay County, right? You expect like, well, heck, Ken, these people are already, they're sitting in Clay County. Of course they know Clay County, but this is a chance for you to brand the county for sponsorship purposes, whether it's feel good, do good, um, you know, myriad things going on in the county. You talked about the agricultural underpinning. Um, it's a gorgeous bedroom community of Jacksonville and St. Augustine, et cetera. All those different, all those different things. This is your chance to set the tone of why I'm talking to you. So, um, and then, and then you could say, Hey, by the way, I'm here to talk to you about sponsorship and donation and here's what they are. So that could have been potentially the second slide. Sure. Um, so again, I really wanted, um, to just nail and and to entice me as a prospect about um, the county. Um, so we go into the next slide about um, the benefits of sponsorship with the county. This was meant to work in tandem with your following slide, how sponsorships benefit you. And so I like that um, in terms of um, benefit because you're you're um, addressing benefit uh, you have to give a potential sponsor a visual um, through words and through uh, photos or graphics about what's in it for them because sponsorship is simply one form of marketing to address marketing pain and the usual marketing pain is people don't know me People aren't choosing me. Um, I need to sell things now. But it's addressing one of those key things for a sponsor. Um, or And so even if it's – even if the sponsor is not a commercial business, um, usually things like brand awareness or image awareness or awareness of a program or a cause is an important part of a sponsorship. So um, that's going to be – that's going to be really important is the issue of benefit. Now, um, I'd be really careful on this slide because, and I know that for nonprofits and for government entities, um, sponsorship is a form of revenue production, which benefits the mission. And the mission of the county is to um, the health and welfare of its citizens. And tax dollars are part of it. But on the benefit to the county, again, everything that you said here is true and everything you said here is good. Um, but I would question, and I just asked the question, is saving the county tax dollars the driving motivation of a potential sponsor? It may be. But it also may be that um, a potential sponsor is thinking, listen, I want to work with the county. Yeah, it's good that I can help offset county dollars, but it's really a spot. A donation is about the county. Um, sponsorship is about me. And how do you solve my problems? Fair enough. And, and so with the tax dollars issue, one thing that came to mind is, well, I already pay tax dollars. So it sounds like I'm just doubling up on like I'm giving you money so that you don't have to um, ask for other people for for tax dollars. And again, you're in you're in a conversation that you don't need to be necessarily in this context um, because it's really how do I work with the county to help my organization? Um, and if the county benefits in the process, great. But it, it's really. I hate to make it sound this way, but sponsorship is a little bit of a selfish transaction where the sponsor is, is supposed to receive the benefit. Um, so again, I would make 
actually flip this and make the benefits to the count, how it benefits the county, make it a benefit to the sponsor. And let's, we'll talk about that in the next page. Yeah, I, I, I get that. And sp uh, coincidentally, the, um, the conversation that uh, ensued at the end of this presentation, the very first one I did and only one so far, uh, that question came up and we did, uh, we did need to unpack that. And, uh, so I, and, the, and there were no sponsor opportunities in the room per se, but I can, I take your, uh, your criticism to heart because that was, we did need to spend some time unpacking that benefit for a sponsor. No, George, I'm not criticizing you. These are opportunities for improvement, dude. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> So remember I said we'll make we'll make some of these actually flip them like yep. do a little verbal jujitsu and we'll flip it on its back. And we have here um you can like if you give money, you will enhance programs for the county. That's your first bullet here. Well, if you flip it, it's hey sponsor, wouldn't you like to be known for enhancing programs for the county? Because then you're creating this gratitude, right, mm -hmm. among the users of those county services. Like, it's not that I help the county. It's that I help you, Mr. and Ms. user of a county service, whether it's a park, animal services, touch a truck, like you help families, right? I want to be known for enhancing the services of the county because, like, all those families are going to be grateful that 20 years later, they have these really cute photos of their kids on a county dump truck. <laughs> Guilty. So, yeah. um, so like, that's a way that you can flip this and actually make it that, Hey, you'll be known for being a great corporate citizen. Forget about, forget about, you know, saving tax dollars. You'll be known for something great. Right. Um, all right. So first bullet here um, triggered a missing page in this deck. So, so the three most – I say this, and the people who are part of the sponsorship success method community know this because I say it often. Uh, three most important parts of a sponsorship deck are audience, audience, and audience because the sponsor wants to know that their potential customers are in your audience. So um, now you've got a really challenging task here, George, because you're selling everything for the county. And that's super awesome, but um, each of those may have different demographics, right? A park, the parks users may be different than um, the people who attend the uh, sports complex, um, different than et cetera, et cetera. You see where I'm getting at? Clearly. <laughs> you can do a couple of things in your audience demographics page where you're talking about um, age, gender, marital status, um, household income, things like that. You could do a couple of different things. You could do the county writ large, right? This is Clay County, Florida. This is our county demographics. And that's, you can get that in 30 seconds from the U.S. Census Bureau. You could do, if the, if the county um, parks and rec department has user data, you can pull that and create another page. Again, people ask, like, how many pages should I um, do for audience demographics? And my answer is, like, how many pages can PowerPoint do? And the answer is endless. So you can't do too much information about demographics. So maybe you have county, you have parks department, you have all the different major top, like, sports. You have all the sports fields, all the different uh, places, because, again, um, if I'm going to sponsor, I need to know, like, am I going to reach my customers? Otherwise, it's not a sponsorship. It is a donation. Right. Well, so, um, this feeds. In. I just want to throw in yeah, there. Um, yeah. This this deck was actually put together prior to us engaging with a, uh, uh, a SaaS platform that is allowing me to put a geofence around our different assets and and identify who is visiting that asset uh hit both historically and as we move forward we'll be able to get 
very specific demographic data uh, as events hit the calendar uh, a few days after that event we will we will get a very good uh, demographic and psychographic profile of the visitors that came to that event perfect and and that is so valuable um, and I would regularly update your sponsorship deck. That's another thing about a sponsorship deck is um, I don't really care what format you use as long as you can update it um, fairly easily. Um, as your demographic shift, as you get new information, that's all great. Um, but I really want to know it. Um, I was recently approached to sponsor a trail, um, charge to sponsor a trail, and I was inclined to do it because I hike all the time personally. But um, – the person who approached me couldn't tell me who hiked on the trail. So I had no idea if this literally, again, was a sponsorship or whether it was a donation. So that's um, really important. Um, sure. I will I will have that data. So I will be able to answer those questions as we move down, down the line. Oh, that's so awesome. Thank you very much for that. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, like networking opportunities, I think that's a great benefit. I just wanted to see somewhere in the deck like what that is. Um, like, um, you know, on July 10th, 2024, we have, um, Clay County sponsor day where we have all our Clay County sponsors gathered together in the municipal auditorium. And we, you know, we talk about, um, you know, we network among all the different sponsors. You, you, you see where I'm going with this. Mm -hmm. Um, if, if you mention it in the deck, prepare to be challenged in the conversation. Yep. Um, and if you can't identify that, um, and this is, I'm speaking from experience because I often say, I don't have all the answers, but I've made all the mistakes. And so <laughs> I've been challenged. And when you don't nail that answer, it's, you know, prospect turns off the opportunity. Right. Like this, this person's full of baloney. I'm not going to listen anymore. Um, so we mentioned um, flipping some of your benefits to the county into this particular thing, a uh, particular uh, page. But there are also, I wanted to mention, George, two different um, pages that I, that were absent in this round of the deck. Um, you had examples later on. And they're good examples of some recent projects, which are assets, right? And you had several other assets, but I think even in a presentation like this, but most especially one that goes to your audience or to your prospect um, list, I want a pretty comprehensive list of assets. Um, the only exception would be is that like this deck is about the sports complex, so it's only the assets in the sports complex. Otherwise, I really want as large a list as possible um, because I want to cast the widest net of opportunity. Um, doesn't have to drill down to the last sign in the last area, but it should be a smorgasbord, which, you know, it's like literally any smorgasbord. You walk the line and you're unlikely to get everything, but you're going to see two or three items that you really like. So I would um, – I'd create an asset list um, slide. Um, and then another slide that is um, in our in our typical template is activation. Um, and that was missing from this deck. And what I, what I mean by that is um, it's not enough that – like let's, let's do the hiking trail example that I gave when I was approached. Um, it's not enough to just do what we call – um, in sponsorship, a logo slap um, that just throw your logo on the wall. For sponsorship to really work, you got to activate around it. And so the activation is, um, am I, the sponsor, going to hold events on the trail? Or part of the sponsorship is uh, I'm going to do um, trail day where um, we have, you know, or stroller day or all these different things where I'm activating my, I'm bringing my sponsorship to life. Um, most sp sponsor prospects, including um, smaller companies have no idea how to activate a sponsorship. And that, that cuts to, you know, you had the definitions of sponsorship for that purpose. So right. you want to have just some thought starters 
about how those kinds of organizations and companies can activate a relationship with the county. Um, the value that it does for the sponsor is it increases the value of the sponsorship to them. You like that, especially when you're trying to renew it, right? They had a great experience. Yes, I was a trail sponsor. It was fantastic. So many people said they saw my sign on the trail who became my customers. But also, um, if part of the activation was that company put their sponsorship on their website, now they're promoting the county and its mission. And the county doesn't have to pay for that, right? That That's part of an activation plan where they want, they want to boast and be proud of they are a Clay County, Florida sponsor. Right. So uh, we always recommend um, it, activation ideas, thought starters, whatever you want to call it, but a page of that. Good. Good input. Love this page. No opportunities for improvement. <laughs> Okay. Um, I love this. This is kind of what I meant before with the assets. Um, this is pretty broad. Um, so for example, um, you have events and you say like our touch a truck and veterans day. I want to know what events you got. Right. Because if I'm a company that caters to veterans, I'm going to zero in on veterans day. Um, but, um, if I'm a family oriented business and touch a truck was not on that list, then you may have lost me. So um, I love this. This page is fine. I would also do that asset list page. This could also be broken out into five different slides. Sure. So slide sure. for each, each topic. Because you've got so many great opportunities. This is not a typical um, sponsorship um, program in the sense that, I mean, you are a county for Pete's sakes. You have a lot of great opportunities. Um, and that's not true for a lot of sponsors who are like like they're doing one event. Right. Or they are one organization. Um, a county is much different. So um, there you have it. Um, so I don't really have a problem with this page. I think it's a fine page. But I, I wanted to make a note on it. Um so you, I, I'm always careful on the examples that I use because I like to say um, people judge you by who you stand on stage with. And, and so and, – and sponsors know that. So, for example, um, if I'm taking a commercial sponsorship, let's say a baseball team, and um, a very – like Fortune 500 companies being approached for a sponsorship – and all the current sponsors are very small, obscure local companies that Fortune 500 sponsor may not want to be involved because of who they stand on stage with, because they look small and they look small um, because they're on stage with many small sponsors. So um, the scout troops are great. And obviously, Gary Newman and Joe Wiggins, they're great. I don't know them, but I'm sure they're great. <laughs> and so... But um, are those two examples um, someone that your target businesses in the county would want to um, stand on stage with? Uh, for example, um, an example of that would be the largest healthcare system in the county would want to stand on stage with the largest financial services business in the county, would want to stand on stage with the largest supermarket chain in the county, et cetera. You see where I'm going with this? I, I do see where you're going with that. The the only challenge is cart before the horse sort of thing. I don't have those examples at this moment, right? So maybe I don't even throw this slide in there because I don't have the example. So does this really belong? Well, um, you could. You could have it and not necessarily mention who the sponsor or who the donor is. I know that's kind of a trick bag because you really want to give them credit. Um but you you might you might want to hold off on that um, because again, if you're not going to wow them, like um, if the biggest utility in the in the county just came on board, I would I would tout that project till the cows come home because again, there's lots of sponsors who would follow suit 
and feel, oh, if such and such energy did that, um, did a sponsorship, I feel comfortable joining joining them on stage to right. take to take that metaphor. Um, another good page, right? I liked it. Um, you know, here's the adopt a mile sign. My name's going to be on the bottom. Um, you know, brick campaigns, always popular. Um, I, they've been, you know, nationwide, they've been a, a source for so many organizations of, of so much revenue because they're visible and they're durable. So great. Um, another great, you know, another great slide. Um, so here, um, I want, I, and again, I know you had limited time at the rotary. So, um, but I'm looking at this as a sponsorship deck, not as a presentation. Um, these are, these to me are like, you know, marquee assets in the County. Would you just, would you agree? Is that, am I right? Or yes. These are actually at the moment, my two highest valued assets. I would have laid it on thick on both of these, um, both of these opportunities. Again, um, you said that your prospects are may not have been in your in the rotary off rotary audience. I look at it, you know, not knowing the specifics, I always look at it um, as the opposite. That the COO of the largest company in the county is a rotary member. Holy cow, I couldn't have known that. Mm -hmm. Right. That's what again, that's why I think um like Rotary, Kiwanis, et cetera, like they're fantastic speaking opportunities. I recommend everybody do those because you never know who's in the audience. Um, and I do have sponsorship examples from deals past where they came about in those venues. So I would have used this, like, let me tell you about one of my best assets, um, the multipurpose sports complex. How would you like your name here and show a rendering, a, you know, one of those gorgeous renderings and like, Whoa. And the same thing with the fitness court at Moody Avenue Park. Um, it's like to kind of get them drooling that they can have their company name on those. So I would have taken at least one page per um, to go, hey, some of you here might not be in a position to sponsor these, but these are these assets are incredible. Let me tell you about them. So um, that's all. I mean, I'm glad you mentioned them, but I, I'd, I'd lay it on thick with these in subsequent pages great feedback thank you you're welcome um and so i really think that um george there were so many good things in this and um i think that uh the county is really um doing a great service um to its residents and to the taxpayers of the county by pursuing sponsorship um, and I meant to ask you at the top, I assume the county has a sponsorship policy, yes? Yes. Fantastic. Spot for those who don't know, um, in our LinkedIn live audience, a sponsorship policy, um, usually a nonprofit or a government entity, um, uh, lays out ahead of time um what types of sponsorship are in bounds, what's appropriate considering our public mission, um, what what types of relationships, what type of sponsors, what type of transactions are appropriate and are, and are not. And um, within those parameters, I think that an organization like Clay County um, is really, again, forward thinking um, and really enhancing services. It's not just about defraying tax money um, and making county budgets go further. It's about enhancing services to the county. So um, I just want to mention that. And I think your deck really conveys that. Um, I mentioned um, I would love to see more photos. Um, it's a beautiful county, um, idyllic. Uh, the I want to see the assets. I'm sure they're awesome assets. I want to see that. I want to see happy users, excited users. I want to create some anticipation on the part of sponsors to be involved in that. I want to see more of those assets. And then um, I don't think you're going to get in trouble if you talk about, especially with certain assets. Um, we recommend that you not uh, have a specific sponsorship opportunity with specific assets and a specific price in this deck. 
we recommend that for the proposal, right? You've right. had the conversation, you've done your back and forth to find out what the sponsor needs, and then you create a tailored proposal. But if you could give some price ranges, again, it could tell a company. So um, charge, I'm in a different position to sponsor things than AT&T right. <laughs> or, or, you know, or Shell Oil. And right. so um, I'm going to be at a different price point than those guys. So maybe on on the relevant pages, you talk about sponsorship opportunities from $500 to $50,000 or something like that. Um, we can tailor our programs um, to your needs based on your audience and our audience, et cetera, et cetera. So I would like to see a little more so that um, I don't have to guess. I don't, if I call you back, um, I don't want to have to guess. Right. So um, that concludes our deck diagnosis. So what do you think? I I appreciate the feedback. It's uh it's going to be very helpful. Uh, you know, I've got a, a little about a month before my next presentation, so I will definitely be uh, spending some uh, energy uh, tweaking. Yeah, you you have all upside. Right. Um, you Like you said, um, the world is your oyster. And so you've got a lot of a lot of assets, a lot of opportunity. Um, you're blessed with great weather. <laughs> there is that. <laughs> so, no, that's that's awesome. And um, for anyone in the LinkedIn um, live audience, uh, the basically the information that I shared with George the starting place um, can be our sponsorship deck template. Um, our sponsorship deck template can be found at chartsponsorship.com in the ebook section. Uh, simply download it and it'll help you get started. Um, and someday maybe you can create a deck as great as George did. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, George, Thank is you. there anything else you want our audience to know about your mission? Well, just, uh, you know. Florida is a great place to be. And uh, you mentioned the weather. It is it is pretty darn hot down here right now in uh, in in the first part of July, uh, hot and wet. So uh, but other than that, it's a, it's a great place to be. And and I am uh, blessed to, uh, to to have the assets that we have here in the county for me to be able to put corporate names on. That's awesome. Um, and on that note, if you would like to be featured in a future um, workshop of deck diagnosis, uh, feel free to send your information. Either set, drop us a, a message, a direct message on our um, charge uh, company page on LinkedIn, or uh, send us an email at info at chargesponsorship.com. But um, that is our episode uh, with Clay County, Florida. Uh, here in July. And uh, for all of you out there, no matter what, we wish you sponsorship success. Take care, everyone. Take care, George. Thank you, Ken. Thank you.